squeeze them hard enough, they do pop. So I would suggest maybe not letting um, the elderly play with your, your testicles, but you know them, right? Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Welcome to episode number 22 of the Marty Michael podcast. This is fully actual and we are here right now. Holy shit. And if dude. you're listening to us, you're listening to us at this very moment. In time. So no, it's, it's not live. Yeah. No, but if they're listening to this, they could be listening to this in a year's time. And some of you will be. I'll I'll be speaking, in a way, we're speaking directly to the future. We are a time machine. Because some people, uh, someone in 10 years time will probably listen to this. So, we're speaking to, now we're talking to people in 2030 and now it gets interesting. I want to know what's happening. I want to know, comment what's happening. If you're listening to this in the year 2030, comment where you live. Are Brad and Jennifer Aniston back together? Are they still... Developing property. Oi, look at we. Speaking of time travel, we have built you, this. We just blacked out and accidentally invented that. Like, so easy. This is either a calculator or a time travel machine. Or a frosting machine. It frosts cakes as well. It's a strange calculator though because it has no screen. And you're probably wondering, what the fuck have you guys been doing? And the answer is, well, I went away for a couple of days with Mon and Esty. We went away a couple of days. Noosa, lovely, lovely two-day little holiday. And then Michael, went, he was gone on a boat. And right? my girlfriend and their family on a houseboat for a couple of days, which is lovely. So, that's what... So we like, had a little break really, from mayhem for a bit. Yeah, really. It's been four days. We haven't seen him. And it's been, it's, it's been very relaxing. And uh, now we're back to really hurt each other. A lot of wounds have healed so we can really tear no, each other's No, they bodies. haven't. I have fucked myself, by the way. <laughs> Actually, and I'm going to... Let's see how bad... I'm pretty sure I've broken a finger and we're going to reveal it right now. Because the swelling was fucked. So, let's see how bad this shit is. Oh, so, he's unwrapping his finger. It looks like some like really old, dirty it was toilet. Pa- it was used toilet paper, dude. Used toilet paper all around his fingers. Oh. And it's fine. It's nothing. There's no mark there. He's fucking it's shit It's a little talker. fat. It's the swelling's gone down, so it's not broken. That's <coughs> such good news. Fuck yeah, it works. Yeah, um, fuck. I got wounds it looks galore a bit dark. on me. Yeah, it looks. See, how it looks fatter than that one. Oh, ha ha ha! That hurt. How'd you do that? Also, this podcast is sponsored by uh, the University of Markham, where it's our website, where we put all lots of crazy videos that we can't put on social media. So, if you want to support us and support this podcast, go and sign up to that website because that is where the real fucking cool shit happens. And social media is getting more and more fucked. Just at the start of this month, again, Facebook changed its algorithm, and now we get literally we one, fuck thir- one third of the amount of reach that we usually get. And they might change it back soon, but for now, it's we get one third of the views that we usually get. These things happen all the time, so that's why we started the website. It's something we can control a little bit more. So go and check it out. We fu- everyone on there's fucking it's fucking good shit. Everyone's starting to really love it. I think we're constantly asking for feedback, and everyone's really happy with it. And we got the app nearly finished, so everything oh. will be on a nice, easy to use mobile app that you'll be able to watch our videos on. So it's just going to get better and better. And trust me, you want to jump in there before. Before it sinks. Uh, before it gets too late. Because we are now technically app developers. Yeah. Well, That's Matt- fucking high quality business shit. Yeah, Matt Brown is very impressed. Fucking, what do you reckon of that, oh, Mr. Researcher pretending man? like he's not impressed, but he's very impressed. God, I love his new hat. He's so cute with his new hat. He's ripped all his hair out again. Oh, everyone's been asking about you. Can you show your face? You will when we do the stunt time. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we'll look at him. <clears throat> um, last week, I pooed on your face. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I didn't get pink eye, thank fuck. But uh, I don't, I don't know, the still, jury's still out on whether it was poo or just water because it was completely It was clear. clear. How do you do that? Normally, it's brown or a tinge of brown. Yeah. Or like green. Matt? I think if it came out your ass, we'll, we'll class it as shit. Oh, yuck. It fizzed. Oh, shoo, shoo. Yeah, it was like a, it yeah, it was like a very... Uh, <laughs> Uh, spat humidity. <laughs> it was sick. Oh, <clears throat> memories. I haven't even watched that pod- podcast yet. I'm going to watch it tonight. 100%. Was it? Was it good? Did you see it? Yeah, it's it's quality. It's fizzle. And we were fucking. Now. We weren't even high or anything last week. We anyway. were completely sober. And I'm having a couple of ciders today. Marty, what have you had? I've had a nothing. I've had a sober oh, break. Yeah, a couple. Look at that couple, wink. Couple, hey, couple look at that weed, cheeky wink. Weed. I have. I am sober. Um, the on this days this week. Um, Did Matt do a good job? Well, look, I've had our peruse through, and, and yeah, there's some there's some pretty crazy shit here. 
And like, yeah, we'll have to, I feel like we need to lawyer up after some of these. Like it's starting to really tread into controversial- What's that mean, lawyer up? Have we got to like, be lawyer? We're, we're probably like some of these secrets, like- I am, I have one like day, I was a barrister for one day. Yeah, well, like this, some of this isn't even public knowledge. This is like, like you you would have had to what break into some offices and 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 sort of secret ri- files, rifle yeah, rifle through, through their folders and stuff to get some of this. Hacked a few <laughs> websites. <laughs> Fucking man. Wait, sorry, sorry, I gotta hold you up. Oh, what God, do you mean? I love it when he does that. What, 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 what are you gonna what, say? What do you cunt? mean? You're a barrister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck? no, it was just for one day, dude. Yeah. He's just done some consulting. Where at school? No, no it's it's was some like after high school. Some you you went. I was like eighteen or something. Oh, you weren't there, man. You. you weren't there, right? It's just, God, it's just one day. Fucking, we helped anything judge. can happen in one day, man. Think about it. It was just some consulting work with a judge, okay? If you want to really know that, fuck. You yeah, you went from here. To Wait here. a minute. So you're telling me you're a specialist advocate and advisor in law? Yes. What are you doing on this day about it? Okay, do some research about it, Matthew. It was a Brand. day, dude. I was a bird one day. <laughs> I've been heaps of shit. <laughs> I, 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 I was flying around one. Like I've done heaps of shit. I can do be anything. Okay. Fuck. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. On this day, in 1988. The singer Seal awoke from a six-day MDMA bender. He was found panicking and confused, and a brain scan revealed that the MDMA had melted away the part of the brain responsible for memory. His newly damaged brain did, however, slightly resemble the face of a seal, and after one of the doctors pointed it out on the scan, the memoryless man Seal decided to rename himself Seal. So Seal named himself Seal because his brain is shaped a bit like the face of a seal. Holy shit. I always wondered how he came up with that name because it's like no normal person's going to be like, oh, yeah, my name's Seal. Or, Where's your last name? Where's your middle name? Sometimes people have two middle names. You don't just have a first name, especially if your first name's just the name of an animal. You can't, yeah. Like, oh, so I'm all son- for one day shit, but like, don't be a, like, I was a bird for one day. Don't be a seal forever. Like, and surely, doesn't someone else remember his name? Like, does he not know anyone in the world? He's just come to and can't remember who he is. Now he's seal. That's fucked up. Very, very sickening, Matt. Not on. I'm not okay with that one. All right? Sorry. On this day in 1985, Steven Spielberg got very cross because someone had been in his room. He could tell someone had been in his room because his toys weren't packed away the way he usually <laughs> packs them. And because someone had chipped a bit of paint off of one of his Spider-Man figurines. Steve, oh. Steven got so cross that he melted his plastic toys down into liquid and drank them all. When asked about this in an interview, he exclaimed, If I can't have my toys, then nobody can, you bitch. <laughs> I like the way you said packed. Packed was lovely. Packed. It is annoying though when people entering your room without consent. Oh, we've, we've all yeah, been always there. at least knock. We've all been there, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had a little nap on your bed one time. You tell me, what are you doing in here, Matt Brown? Happened like a couple weekends ago when we were at James's. Yeah, you came in and snuggled up. Yeah. On this day in 2007, Snoop Dogg filed a police report claiming that Hogwarts is real and all that wizard shit is actually legit. He claimed that J.K. Rowling is actually Harry Potter's auntie and she wrote the books to make it seem like Harry Potter was a brave hero when really it is Snoop Dogg that defeated Voldemort and Harry Potter is just some lame nerd wizard that can't get laid. Snoop is sick of not getting the recognition that he rightfully deserves. <laughs> not bad. That is unbelievable. That Snoop Dogg... Like, he's not, he's not just going to say shit like that unless you can back it up with hard facts. So, Hold honestly, up. wow. What a twist. Snoop Dogg is actually the guy who defeated Voldemort. Unbelievable. On we this- used to try... Remember the fucking adventures we'd go on and we'd try and find Voldemort? Yeah. <laughs> in the Lost World? God, they were the days. Anyway. Yeah, we were just kids. We were just 20-year-old children. Uh, yeah, I was a fucking barrister at 18, so I wasn't a kid. For a day. Yeah. On this day in 2015, Meryl Streep was seen laying an egg the size of a football. She was clearly embarrassed when questioned about it and timidly confessed that she lays eggs and buries them all around Hollywood in hopes that one will hatch an Oscar trophy. My first Oscar trophy actually grew into a real man and we dated for five weeks before he turned back into a regular Oscar trophy. I want that kind of relationship again, a very lonely Meryl said. Oh, Meryl's the sickest name. So Meryl. she um she dates her Oscars. 
Is Oscar the best thing you can get? Yeah. It's the highest award, yeah. And it's for movies, not TV shows. Oscars correct? and then the Nobel oh, Nobel movies, Prize yeah. is straight We've under got the, the Nobel. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. We've got a couple in the back, probably. Yeah. Lots of trophies. It goes Oscar and then the Nobel Peace Prize. Then the then, Arias. And then a bronze medal in the 100-meter sprint is the third highest honor that you can achieve. You know how hard it is to come exactly third? Yeah, because I but, guess- like, Oh, what if you were coming first and you just quickly slowed down then? Yeah, it's so hard to judge that because they're all so close. You know, you half a step back, 10 people could be in front of you. Yeah, they might not have slow-mo. Merrill's won three Oscars. Well, there you go. And one of them turned into a real man. You said, you claim Matthew Brown. Hmm? Is that Maybe. what happened? And I guess what? They they dated and f- were physically intimate with a steel large you, man. She could shove that in. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> she could easily make it work. She sounds like she's mentally ill if she's burying eggs around is she, Hollywood. Is she? Who, I've never heard of this lady. She's a big fat. She's a big fat bitch. Really? No, nah, I can't put a name to the face. Yeah, what's what's she look like? I just keep seeing a big fat bitch laying eggs. Um, I'm trying to think of something you would have watched. She's a, she's the um. She's like devil, oh yes, she's the devil's wear yes. Prada lady. Old and has white hair. Uh, yes. Big fat evil bitch. She's, She's not- oh Coel- Coella Deville in 101 Dalmatians. Big fat bitch. No, looks- that's, I made that's, that's like Glenn Close. Looks a lot like her and does also skin Dalmatians. Wow. She skins them. Matt, definitely correct. See, and that is on this day. All right, that leads us to our next segment. And you guys have sent in some questions. Am I right? Ah, via Instagram, mm. sent in some fucking questions. I can't wait to have a bloody read of this. Um, and the segment has, of course, um, has not has not had a name change this week. What you doing? Chilling at the holiday Sleep inn. dog you got in my head. Oh, so it's just normal? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a normal segment name. This, this seg- It's been just That's named to- very this responsible, Q- Matt. Q&A. Q&A segment. Oh, okay, Matt. All right. A bit lazy, eh? don't feel like coming up with segment names today. I see. Now he's aiming a gun at me. <laughs> We're filming with Shami tomorrow. That, yeah. vid- that video should be out yeah. now by the time you're listening to yeah, this. Yeah, wow. Ooh, I wonder. See um, what I mean? It I could go wrong, especially with what we're doing. We could get fucked up. We could up. get hurt badly. MBS don't play 14. Marty. Yeah? You may try to fuck the phone only for science. In the name of Stephen Hawking's, bend your phone over and go to the fucking town. Oh, because there's a- Oh, he sent us- He's found a- Matt sent a picture of a cow. Let me just have a look at it here. No, so it's not- It's too cartoony. It's yeah, not it's, it's not sexually- uh, suggestive enough like I, I like my cows sort of with a bit of fear in their eyes and they're a bit wary of the human this looks like a cow is having a holiday on the beach it's got actually has sunglasses it's literally on literally a fucking cow wearing on a, a beach hat, wearing a hat so no this cow looks far too relaxed I like my cows with a bit more fear and sort of terror in their eyes yeah that's fair alright this is the question if you guys each knew you had 48 hours to live what the fuck are you each doing and where are you going I'd start, I'd go to breaking, I'd break as many windows as possible. I think we've said this before. I'd start cleaning. I like just to, just because it's like funny to waste the last two hours of your life doing yeah, something. Yeah, we're like, so like you just start fucking cleaning yeah, the just, house. I'd, I'd spend the last two hours I of my would, life doing the most boring, mundane thing that I could I think of. I would have a good laugh at that. That <laughs> yeah. would really get me happy. I would understand that. Yeah. Get your bond back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, this one is H mowing service. Well, there you go, a little plug. <laughs> All right, Marty and Michael, what Nirvana song do you like the best? Rape Me. You were right. Next question. All right. <laughs> um, this one's from Austin Rose. Ooh, Ooh, this is a very- Spicy Very question, relevant. you fucking cunt. How much would it take to sit your bare ass on a col- colony of fire ants? Like- well, it's funny that you mentioned that because yeah, we've uh, we've just come up with a, a, a video idea. What's the title? I've found a ritual. I've found a ritual online where we can tr- you can sort of try and become a part of an ant colony. So, we're going to see. The video idea is titled... Let me uh, get this right. Uh, do ants accept humans as ants or are humans just humans to ants? So, we want to figure out if we, if the ants, if we can make ourselves so ant-like that the ants will accept us as one of their own. I want to become the queen. 
Yeah. Basically. Basically, that is the experiment, seeing if we can become an ant queen. All right, uh, Craig, Craig Duncan. Duncan. Where was your favorite place in Europe you've, you've visited? Oh, I'm going to burp. <laughs> <sighs> That's better. Um, um, London was fuck. lovely. London was lovely. Prague was lovely. Germany was lovely. I don't really have a favorite, I don't think. Prague, pretty good. Paris was Paris fuck shit. Fuck you. San Sebastian, remember that drum festival? The 24-hour yeah, drum festival? Yeah, we randomly rocked up to some- fe- And it was a festival about chasing Perusians out of their town. So, it was also nice. We could relate. Yeah. Um, a mutual hatred for the damned Only Perusians. the few that fucking beat the shit or we beat the Not shit. all of them. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> um, yeah, San Sebastian was cool and that's in Spain. So, probably there, I'm just going to say, because that's, you know- yeah. So, yeah. So basically, so that. basically, yeah. That Finn has asked, would you rather smoke cones every day for the rest of your life or not be able to wank? This is easy. Smoke cones every day because not like what like, you'd fucking you, you break your brain eventually though. Yeah, you'd break well, what, your one brain. cone each day. Yeah, I guess maybe. Yeah, if you, it's only one cone a day. You but know. like, you don't even you could just say never wank for the rest of your, your life because you can still have sex. You wouldn't choose. If you you like got to be more specific, Finn. You got to write down like all the things, the, all the the fucking the fucking. We could fuck. You could fuck. And does that count as wanking? Yeah, no. Finn? Finish. That's finished. All right. So I just I just choose the not wanking thing, and then just have sex with something. And then you can smoke Matt? cones if you want to, not every day. Have sex with something, man. Okay. A cow. I'll write that down. Have sex with something quickly. Write down, have sex with something. Okay, he's got it. That's hot. Next question. All right, this one's from Jaden Milton. What's your thoughts on DMT? <laughs> We've recently acquired some... We're not allowed to say that? Fuck it. We've recently re- acquired some DMT. So, um, and we're going to film a website video. We think we're still a bit iffy. We're going to check legal, click, click, click. And we're not going to film ourselves actually smoking it. But we want to- um, oh, I'm so- I don't want to do it on camera, to be honest. Well, it's, we'll see. Kids, it's not a fucking good time on pingers with the boys. Yeah, let it, let it be an educational it's video. It's a fucking medicine. It's like sacred as shit. You're going to find out so much stuff that you probably don't want to find out, especially about yourself. It's it's be it's, careful. It's medicine. Be careful. Be careful okay. with it. Be careful with it. It is good for you if you want to fucking be a better human being. I feel like the experience for the person filming that's going to be just as eye opening as it is for you taking it. Well, fuck. You saw me last time we did it. I went to the realm and had mechanical elves everywhere and all. I, what was the sound? Like mimic me. What was I like? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were scary elves. But yeah, you're not there. Fucking hell. It's so interesting that so many people have the same circumstances and experience. How long does it last for? 15 minutes. Is it only 15? And then yeah. you just feel- What if you can, continue if you, to have more? If you, yeah, it, the, you the trips get- it start, No, it just starts not working as good because okay. your tolerance builds your tolerance up. Builds. If you have ayahuasca and you ingest it orally, so you're eating it, that can last up to eight hours. And that's when you get to stay there talking to the aliens. Yeah. But 15 minutes, you only get a brief time with them and they'll normally tell you you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and then you come back and you're like, oh, fuck. You're rejected. <laughs> but yeah, fucking- We, we should show it them is, our videos. It's good. It's, and they're, they're talking about- We show about- the islands our videos next time we see them. Yeah, yeah. Take your phone <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> We'll fucking take the phones, cunt. <laughs> well, how about we just we'll film it and then we'll we'll decide after. I can't wait because you've never gone to the realm. I, I I can't wait to see what you fucking what if you can bring back info and tell me what you see because it is it is. Fuck. Imagine if I just I come back and I'm arm in arm with one of the aliens. <laughs> yeah. Met him. <laughs> Brought him back. He reverts back to his native German tongue. Oh, just can't oh, speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. But fucking hell, be careful with it, kids. Yeah, treat oh, we're it. just going to say that we're going to say wise. that we're filming Wait. it for the website just so you guys sign up to and the website. Do but we might not film it for the website. Do it f- if you're an adult, of course. Everything you do, do when you're an adult. Oh, itchy, itchy. One, four. Question what? from one four. 
<laughs> Give me your best pickup line. Wow, you're a chick. That's cool. That's that's fuck. <laughs> get in the bag. Hey, get in the bag. Hey, come on, get in the fucking get bag. In the get in the bag. Get in the bag. Get in the fridge. Yeah, I don't know. Which is one that's worked. Really, I've never really used one. I did have a stage that I go up and this has backfired hard. Where you try and be like real weird, obviously, and stand out. So, you ask the girl straight away, hey, have you ever seen a dead body? And you'll get, you know, fucking five times out of ten they have because their grandpa or grandma's passed away. And then you'll get a real sad story. And then it's sort of awkward. But... but the- Sometimes it's like a fucking funny story. It's an icebreaker. Yeah, seen- yeah. I saw a corpse just, just last week. I saw a corpse yeah, behind that dumpster at the back of my house. They out the windscreen, bang, hit a pole. It was crazy. Very lighthearted way to sort of break the ice with someone to talk about bodies that they've seen. But one thing that was always worked when we were younger was pretending that we were a, um, fam- a famous Australian band, Gyroscope. But which also backfired because they, because Michael looked like the lead singer, but I'd have to say that I was like the bass player or something. And then they'd Google the band in front of us and mm. see that I'm meant to have a huge afro. And, yeah, uh, or and, fuck so, it. and there are a couple times because it's yeah, it's just to be like, oh, these guys are lying to us to try and have sex with us. Yeah, it did. But fucking hell, it did it. It worked sometimes. Yeah, it did. We 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 cooked me up. We've told that story in German, uh, German, me or Austria, where we literally fucking took over that restaurant yeah they got whole, to do like whole entire bar they treated us they treated us like celebrities we stripped off in front of like fam not families they weren't families but like old people and we respectable just, like we, people to yeah they let us just the full monty dance on the, on uh, their on bar. the bar which that was, was lovely fun. and that's in our previous first season podcast stories story time. speaking of matt brown story time this has come from someone Okay, Geordie Wayat, when is story time on your podcast making a return? Surely you have some more cook stories. We do, but there's shit we can't say. Yeah, yeah, there's shit that'll just get us fucking, 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 out of that count, fucking constable cockhead will come around and put cuffs on us. <laughs> so the stories weren't sustainable so we sort of had to um yeah we we couldn't it's it's just not if this podcast goes for 10 years it's just a segment that's not sustainable because we just have to keep doing some <coughs> fucked up shit just for a segment you know yeah but um yeah those were good times you could go everyone go go back have a little bit of listen we have some fucking ripping season stories. one story times oh, there's some ripping stories i'll tell you that much for free cunt How fucking cunt the, the chosen, chosen one. one, Baha underscore the big underscore dog. Do you guys watch WWE? The wrestling? What? No, we don't watch uh, the, oh, the yeah. wrestling. I, I can't do I've it. Never really gotten into it. I don't. I don't. It's not uh, like it's not up there with Fast and Furious, but it's fucking close. But I like. I get like because you know the Racker boys are obsessed with them. Yeah, I get, but the I real the- shit. Have you seen the stuff they fucking do? Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I mean. That the um Hitting there is a version. Wire and- there is a version of like <coughs> the fake wrestling where they still really fuck fucking each other hard, but it is still fake wrestling but mm. like they fucking hit each other with shares and shoot each other and i even saw this guy just spear a smaller midget they get like thumbtacks and like fucking smash them into your your skull so yeah. you've got scarring like a third and then they eye. swallow bullets and go and stand in a huge microwave and then turn the microwave on and the bullets the go off how it blows off that's it yeah remember? That's fucking remember? Insane. Matt was there. matt closed yeah. the microwave door and pushed the button were remember? you there remember yeah. undertaker see Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, big news. I got spit. Up near Bribey Island, I drove past a wholesome plant. Oh. <laughs> Can you open it again soon? <laughs> Can you just open it again in a couple of days? That'd be good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, so I really want to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Six, Six eight, five. five. Macola two four five is his Instagram. Mm. Mm, Kenya's fight. <laughs> oh. Use. Uh, not. What do you mean? Like no. Well, you know, we have we've been in our fair share of fucking blues, ball, but that's never something that we yeah. strive out to get involved with. So I'm um, fighting yeah. always in our early twenties. There are a lot of stupid, stupid fights, and it always ruins a night, and then something always just shit happens. It's not. It's not good, kids. Don't fight. 
Just kiss. Just kiss your have friends. a dance off. Have a stomp the yard battle cunt. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get more street cred than ever from stomping the yard properly, right? With the right amount of respect rather than dog shotting some cunt when he's fucking glassed your mate in the fucking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> stomping the yard. Mm. Yeah! Stomp the yard. Yeah! All right, that's question time. Fucking <laughs> Bosley. <laughs> All right, the next segment has been renamed. That was so pretty. And this is a segment where we just open shit that you fucking dogs have sent to us in Let's our PO box. This one, this one's heavy. It's got weight. It's got. Dude, imagine if it was. This is from. Look, she's even put her number on it. I don't know if we should read the name because I don't know if people want their name. Well, so I'm well, just going to say first you would say name. Ashley. Yeah, we'll say first Thank name. you, Ashley. And we've got her address now. So Ashley, we'll, uh, we're in your backyard right have now. You, if she's got so cows. Once you're hearing this, Ashley, go and have a look in your backyard because we're actually standing there waving. Waving you know through what, the back door. Where, so. What? Uh, oh, heights. Oh, it's got her, her address is the word heights in it. Michael's just seen and he's, oh, it spikes his curiosity. Mm. Oh, it's got the word heights. <laughs> oh, top, 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 top. Oh, avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just a block of asbestos. <laughs> oh, 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 it's just some weights. Oh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh that's a hot sauce. Oh, that's, that's a hot sauce. This is a oh, Trinidad no. scorpion sauce, and it is. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of warning signs on this. Intensely hot. Uh, no. Use on on anything and everything for an intense chili hit. No. So, no, I don't it's, want to do the chat. I don't want to do the chat. There's scorpion chili in this shit. There's scorpion chili and we're going to pour it into our eyes. No, I'll do... Fuck! I didn't want to do this. I, I didn't want this today. <laughs> what's what's it, this? What's the bag? I can't I, read. It is... Uh, I think that this could be coffee. This could be fucking coffee that Ashley has sent to us. Hey guys, saw this sauce and thought of you. Apparently, this is the sauce that made Gordon Ramsay freak out on Hot Wings. I'm sure you can have some fun with this on the podcast and give Michael a week off from getting hair sprayed in the face. Big fan. Have been following you guys since your early videos on YouTube. C keep up the good work. Best scientists around. P.S. Were the best. P.P.S. I've recently started a business. Dan Ash Coffee. And here is a sample to try. Well, yes. thank you very much. And Shout everyone. out to Dan Ash. How do you spell it? D-A-N-A-S-H, coffee. So, it's coffee here if you want to fucking try some. It's called uh, Ash Espresso here. Brazil Detira Sample. Do, do we have means. a coffee machine? No, well, I do at home and my mm. girlfriend is a barista. So, this will yes. uh, go down quite the treat. <laughs> Actually, it let me tell delicious. you, mate. <laughs> let me fucking tell you right now. But oh, I'll be consuming this. This is going to suck. Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh, Doesn't no. Doesn't that smell yummy? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that smell nummy? <laughs> oh, shit, 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 and we've just discovered Valiant. Oh, we're going to sleep well. Uh -huh. Maybe. All right. Well, I guess. Um, pop it now. Yeah. And we'll have to pop the... Uh, so, all right. How about we do hot sauce and then the Valium's our reward at the end of the hot sauce. All right. So, thank you, Ashley, for sending all this. You're, if, this this is awesome. This is fucking good shit. And shout out to your fucking coffee. Because we're far fucking down that. Now, we're going to fucking sample this fucking hot sauce that made Gordon Ramsay fuck off. And we'll fucking, uh, fucking Valium. Ah, uh, we have no <laughs> milk. So, you guys are going to suffer. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get some water, though, for you. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but hey... But it, at least you got a Valium waiting at the end of it. Oh, Bozzy, look at Bozzy, eh? Hey? Oh, Where's my schnishni? Fucking hell. Where's my schnishni schnooky, eh? Hey? Isn't he cute, eh? Hey? Oh, Isn't he fucking no. normal? Oh, it's pungent. Oh, yeah. Instantly, even just doing this, what, waving the fucking bottle oh. under my nose, my eyes start watering. So, that's exciting. How are you going to do it? I think we're just going to pour it into our hands and slap it onto our face. Fuck this. Come on, everyone. Let's bloody hear it for Matthew Bloody Brown, eh? Let's bloody hear it. Let's hear it. Hands to yeah. everyone screaming. Everyone's screaming. Oh, I he's want so you to cute. Do it. Look at his hat. Oh, everyone. Are you going to go first or we all do it at the same time? Okay, fuck it. Uh, we got to quickly do it now before we see his reaction. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that's not it's good. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, it takes a while to hit. Yeah, it's late. Oh, my dear. I've got your water. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> 
some water. <laughs> Don't spill it though. Is this yours? This isn't clean. Where'd you find this in the bin? <laughs> it's so dirty. <laughs> okay, so this sauce is um, yeah, it's very very chilly. It's called uh, Wiltshire Chili Farm, and um, it's fucking hot. Right, we just put a. Uh, my liver hurts now. Like there's pain <laughs> coming from my organs. But um, yeah, no, it's not nothing good. like our oh, mate sending us the plutonium fucking hot, hottest thing in the world. Remember the spray? Yeah. Fuck. People love sending a spicy uh, shit. Uh, Imagine just licking the whole fucking plate. Uh, man. 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 Sorry. <laughs> All right. On to the next segment, which has been renamed. Uh, 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 break hold. I'm that brown yeah. break hold. And this is a segment where uh, we just start, do. Start time. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just a weird segment. Yeah. <laughs> It is, <laughs> it is stun time, but Matt's just named it the whatever that was just then. Fuck! So a stun time this week. You know, stun time, it's a segment where we both <gasps> equally do something very, very painful. It's equally as yeah. shit for both of us. We both put our pain thresholds to the test and do something <sighs> fucked for you guys. And this week we're... Who <laughs> was science mixed with stunt? We're going to test... If you can taste sound. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to see if we can. Michael is going to get an air horn, put the fucking dog in his <sighs> mouth, and squeeze it to. S- <laughs> oh, that's hot shit. It still burns yeah. me. And we're going to see if he can taste <sighs> sound. Oh, God. Do you understand? Taste sound. This has never been done before. <laughs> Albert Einstein tried to, but he couldn't invent an air horn. He didn't know how to do it. So now the air horn's there, the old experiment's there. We put the two together. We, this is Albert Einstein's work. We're going to see if we can taste sound. God, my nose is running. Oh, like, God, my bad. nose is running like a, um, like, a, uh, like a human running from a, a bear hey. or something. Something like that. Something where that requires uh, top lots of on the right. urgent <laughs> running. That's what's happening to my nose. It'll hopefully numb the burning. Another. This is an experiment within an experiment. All right. Um, when you're ready, um, I'll count you down from five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh down is an echo. Echoed and hit the bottom of his asshole. Ricocheted off through, doing this one up the pipes, back up his voice box, and then came back at the other end. Isn't that sick? Clear. It tasted like air. Oh, wow. So, there you go. Sound tastes a lot like air, which makes sense because it travels via air. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Holy shit. We did it again. Put it there, pal. (laughs) So, uh, there you go. Sound does have a taste. We've just proved it and fuck everyone. (laughs) Prank call time. And now we have... Next segment has been renamed... Prank time. Huh? Oh, yeah. And Matt's added oh. that dance routine oh. behind the prank, the segment name change. <laughs> that was beautiful. Which is you quite lovely. Going. Quite lovely. So, so thank you for that, Matt then. Brown. Thank you for that, you Matt got Brown. got me all excited. And this segment is basically just a segment where we prank call family or friends. You guys have sent a bunch of numbers in. We prank call and see if we can really hurt their feelings and ruin their life for a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. Nah, nah, nah. It's quite lighthearted. Isn't that right? Oh, look, you should have hit me really hard there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so no new prank calls this week, guys. So fucking pick it up. If this, if we can't, if the Domino's prank call is shit, that's fucking, oh, come yeah. on, send us some shit. Use them as a therapist. Hey, man, I just need mm. someone to talk to. Yeah. What about speaking? This is happening to me, like, you know, my Yeah, my getting, advi- getting, getting life advice from Domino's employees. Oh, like okay. That. Here we go. Oh man. Domino's how can I help you tonight? Hey man, um I just wanna order some um pizzas for uh pick up please. For pick up? Yeah, yeah, if I could. Sure thing, what were you after? Um well besides a new wife <laughs> a, I'll have a, a large barbecue meat lovers and um we'll just go that on a classic crust. Thing. Is that all for tonight? No, just hang on. My um, wife has left me an order here. She's probably off uh, seeing that guy she saw. Uh, it says here she wants a um, Hawaiian, mate, just on a, on a classic there. 
Yep. And um, yeah, hopefully she's <laughs> she she'll be back soon because she's uh, you know been, already oh. been over there for a couple of hours. What how, how many how long do you reckon until the pizza arrives? Oh, sorry, is finished and ready oh. to be picked up. Um, probably like ten to fifteen minutes. Okay, sweet. Um, it's just because um, yeah, like I can't like I seriously just can't get a hold of my wife, and she's sort of. Well, sorry to sort of lay this on you, but yeah, she sort of just started like being quite distant a few months ago, and like she's she's like sort of she's got this new job, right? And she just started hanging out with the staff there a little bit, and like she started getting real close to this like massive, Paul. massive, massive guy, Paul. And he's just like like they've gone out for coffee a couple of times, and she's just pulling away. Like I feel like she's just definitely getting more distant, and like. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, like, she's at Paul's now, and she's just like, you know, you'd never think them to be dirty sluts before you marry him, but, like, what do I do now? You know, half our mortgage and a couple of kids, so it's like, but, you know, these aren't your problems, but, uh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, can I grab a name? Yeah, mate, sure. So, uh, my name's, um, Marty, M A R T Y. Marty? Yeah. Yep, should be about like ten to fifteen. Well, no worries. Well, if um, more, look, if uh, if the uh, if I'm not there in like in like fifteen minutes, because you know I might have to go drive to my wife's uh, place of work uh, and just see if she's there with Paul, um, because you know she's claiming that she's uh, working late at night, but I guarantee you they're not going to be working much. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to swing by the office, and um, d- if she is with Paul. Do you like? Should I do I confront him? What was that? Should I should I talk to him or should I just like I don't I don't want to come across as like too like jealous and insecure in front of him. You know I don't know whether I should talk to him or just pick up my wife and just and then come should and get I the pizzas. Oh, hit the cunt! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Not very good so life cute. advice, but yeah, I, he didn't really let me get too fucked. But, um, <laughs> oh man, I wish someone really fucking tried to help you out there. Yeah, we we might try that one. You want to try this cunt. another domino? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, let's try another so one. It's so fun doing that. It's so fun. Let's try another one. Thanks for coming down this week, Alex. How can I help you? Hey, I'd just like to place a uh, a pickup order, please, for me and yeah. for me and um, my two brothers. Um, First, um, pizza, can I please get a um, large Hawaiian? Yep. And, um, uh, look, you probably don't want to be hearing this, but, um, uh, yeah, my we used to have three brothers, but um, now there's only two. But, um, yeah, so the second brother, he wants a uh, barbecue meat lovers on classic as well. Yep. And the uh, the third brother, he usually he's not around anymore. He um, you'll never guess. Like so unlucky, he was actually uh, crossing a highway, chasing a football, and um, yeah, he was hit by a semi trailer. This has happened only a couple of weeks ago, so they still haven't found the um, the driver. So it was a hit and run. So I'm still a bit shaken up from it, you know. Have you ever lost anyone close to you in your family, or? Sorry. Have you ever lost anyone close to you in your family or you sort of haven't had that yet? Not there. Yeah. Well, like, it's, let me tell you, it's not like I've, yeah, it really shook me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I was. It rocked me, bitch. It rocked me. It fucking rocked me. Like, I was weeping. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyway, my other brother wants a um, garlic bread. Give us like six garlic breads. And, um, and like, he was like, it's, it's kicking a football over a highway. Like, that's so dumb. Like you don't, you go to take it to the park. You know what I mean? Like kicking it straight over a highway. Like I know it's partly his fault as well, but still the semi trailer driver, he's gone now. Like they can't find him. So he's just smashed my brother, torn his body to pieces with his fucking semi trailer, and that now he's gone. He didn't even think to pull over and to leave his details. He just kept going, and like I don't even know. You've been really good to talk to, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's, you're the first person that's actually listened to my story. So, I'm like, I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. Can you yep, put, are good? Can you um, put some, um, like arrange um, some of the ingredients on my pizza into like a love heart or something just to make me feel a bit better? Sorry, what's that? 
So the um, ingredients um, the on the uh, Hawaiian pizza, can you just make the pineapples make it look like a love heart? Like put them in a love heart shape on the pizza? Uh, I just tried for my that. Brother, bitch. Yeah. For my brother, it's bitch. for my brother because my other brother's dead. Okay, so yeah, it's sort of like he's he's struggling as well. He's internalizing a lot more, but like yeah, it's sort of need. Day. It would really make his day if he opened his pizza and saw a pineapple love heart there. Because of our other brother got smashed and crushed by that semi trailer. Don't you think? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, just the Hawaiian with the pineapple in the love heart. In shape. the in the love heart shape. Don't you, don't you think that life is like that crazy sometimes? Don't you think that is? Sorry. It's just nuts, and like I don't even know. Like, what do you say to your to, like? Mum's deaf and blind, so I still haven't told her. I have to write it on a bit of paper in Braille and she'll feel it. So she's going to feel the message of me saying, hey, it's just been hit by a car, by a truck and he's dead. His body's strewn across the highway. You know what I mean? So it's like, where do you even begin with that is what? Don't you think? Yeah, you just need a Hawaiian, a barbecue meat glass, and six garlic bread. Anything yeah. else with that? Yeah, and just so the uh, the pineapple in that love heart shape, and then maybe like, what do you, what's what's a good drink for someone who's grieving that their brother was crushed to death by a semi trailer? Sorry. What's a good drink for someone who's grieving because their brother was crushed to death by a semi trailer? Uh, we we just have cold drinks, Pepsi, Pepsi Max. Solo, yeah, Max, Pepsi. Let's Pepsi, Pepsi up. Up. Let's max it. You know what? <laughs> let's Pepsi Max it up in that here. That was his mm-hmm. name, Max. I mean, it's because his name was. His actually name was Max. Did you know that? Yeah, okay. Pepsi Max. Yeah. So, uh, what else? What else is uh, happening? Everything all right at home? Sorry. Yeah. How are you? I'm feeling? sorry too. How are you feeling? Anyway, thanks for the chat. I'm uh. Just. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm going to go be I, sick. Start crying, start crying. <laughs> just start crying over and over. Hello? Just ball this <laughs> What is happening right now? Sandra? <laughs> San- Sandra, can I call you Sandra? What is happening to me, Sandra? <laughs> I need help. Hello, would you like to place the order? Um, no thanks. We're the best, we're the best, we're the best, we're the best, we're the best!